Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA results, predicted phenotype traits and GED match results. Well not GED match but admixture studio results of a grey wolf from Pyongyang Zoo. Um, he is a, I think a boy, I'm assuming it's a boy based on what I've seen. You will be surprised by how difficult it is to determine the gender of a wolf from raw DNA in human format. This is his predicted phenotype with my Nashakot. He is predicted to have brown eyes and black hair and did not receive a nose shape prediction because low coverage file. I'm not even going to show you his YSEC prediction. It is completely deranged. Uh, with YSEC he's blonde and blue eyed and YSEC in general is garbage when it comes to low quality samples because they aren't able to impute genotypes and just resort to their default phenotype prediction which is blonde hair blue eyes. But out of the, out of the variants that he was genotyped for he does not have any light color variants, so we have no reason to assume he's got any kind of blue eyes. He did not have the European no-go learner mutation in DRD2 sporofranetin pro variation, which is no surprise. Are you surprised that somebody who's not even a human doesn't have a human derived mutation? No, nothing surprising here. Um, he does have these two genotypes, which are kind of interesting. I don't know what congenital deglycosis, I don't care. I don't know what that is. He's got a genotype for higher blood pressure. Okay, I'm not sure what the difference is between wolves and humans in terms of blood pressure, but uh, maybe they have higher blood pressure, I don't know. Um, these are all, he's homozygous for all of these variants, so we can assume that other wolves would have pretty much the same results here. Uh, we can assume that this is a typical result for a wolf in general. And now we're getting into the ancestry. I could not upload this file to GEDmatch because GEDmatch has a lower limit to how big a file is, and this file was too small, it does not meet that lower limit. Anyway, his uh, G25 is very typical for anybody who's basically not a human, uh, closest to Juhuan people, Hoisan people in Sub-Saharan Africa. And this is simply because um, everybody else besides these Juhuan people has a lot of derived variants, a lot of derived human variants, whereas Hoisan people in Sub-Saharan Africa have most ancestral variants. So everybody who's not a human, from Neanderthals to... Uh, hamsters everybody who's not a human is going to have mostly ancestral variants everybody who's not a human is going to score mostly juhuan uh, mostly hoisan in sub-saharan africa this is what he scores with harappa world mostly san and pygmy nothing surprising here but he does score some caucasian and baloch which is very interesting to see uh, if you know anything about the culture of chechens uh, chechnya dagestan they love wolves for some reason wolves are like their um Wolves are the symbol of the Chechen spirit. Wolves are like the symbol of the Chechen. It's on their flag, it's on their uniforms, it's on their shirts. They they love wolves. I don't know why. But it's kind of interesting that they got a little bit of... The wolf got a little bit of Chechen admixture, it seems. <laughs> and finally, this is what he scores with MDLP World Ancient Roots K10. I think it's an interesting calculator for various Neanderthals and other non-humans. He is scoring mostly archaic man here and not, not surprising, nothing surprising here at all because the archaic man simply represents kind of ancestral components, ancestral uh, genotypes. If you have a lot of ancestral genotypes you're gonna score more archaic man with this calculator. Nothing surprising here. Thanks for watching until the end. There are some questions you may have that I simply don't have the answers to. Why does the wolf have Caucasian drift and doesn't score entirely sub-Saharan? Why does the wolf not score entirely archaic man but gets other components too? Why is the wolf heterozygous for a variation in OSR1 implicated in modern human facial traits? I can't answer these questions, but maybe with the raw file you will be able to yourself. That's why I'm leaving the link to download this wolf's raw DNA in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, goodbye.